From Hollywood to Bollywood, Berlin to Beirut, London to Lebanon, India to Iran, Canada to Colombia, Argentina to Afghanistan. Women are directing films in dramatically different circumstances and they've been sharing their thoughts with the screening room. Born in India and living in Canada, Deepa Mehta is an acclaimed director whose Elements trilogy, Fire, Earth and Water, established her filmmaking credentials across the continents. Women are sort of perceived as sort of the more emotional sex. So, you know, whether when you get to do a romantic comedy, for example, it's all right for women to do it somehow. Uh, so we get all the soft stuff to do. And I think that's, the, that's what's so great about what Catherine Bigelow has been doing for many years is that she is you know, pine her trade in a terrain which has been generally masculine. Okay, ready everybody? Let's roll camera. Right. You don't have to shout to be a good director. You don't have to emulate what you think is a male arena or a male way of behaving in order to direct. I know lots of women who are really uh, just as uh, obnoxious on set as men can be, and there's some women who are not, and there's some men who are incredibly soft. Uh, Angley is amazing, you know, to observe on set because he's he's so gentle. When Peruvian director Claudia Losa's film Milk of Sorrow won Berlin's Golden Bear and was nominated for a foreign language Oscar, she drew attention to the growing reputation of Latin American women on the international film circuit. Y me considero una persona muy muy afortunada en este momento y yo espero que muchas mujeres se animen ahora a dirigir. Necesitamos más mujeres dirigiendo, necesitamos más actrices. Mexican director Patricia Riggins' film, Under the Same Moon, provoked a Hollywood bidding war and took $25 million at the U.S. box office, a record for a Spanish-language film. But women represent less than 5% of directors in Mexico and are overshadowed by the success of their male counterparts, Guillermo del Toro, Alejandro Inarritu and the Currans. I feel it, it's not only in film, it's, all, it's throughout all the aspects of society. I think, you know, politicians and senators and presidents, we don't have enough women, it's still not balanced. So film is only a reflection of the rest of the society. Uh, hopefully, you know, things are changing. Right now we have more, make, more female presidents and now we have more female directors. And that's also going to refresh film because it, it is an, a different perspective um, and the stories are going to feel fresh. Iranian director Hannah McMalbuff's feature was centered on the Iranian elections and street protests which followed. <laughs> She comes from a famous family of acclaimed filmmakers, including her father Mohsen, mother Marcia, and sister Samira McMalbuff. همیشه آدم های دنیا فکر که آدم های حداقل ایران فکر میکنن یه کارگردان باید یه مرد چاق خیلی چل ساله باشه که مثلا خیلی هم قوی باشه تا بتونه یه فیلم بسازه خواهر من یه دختر 17 ساله از ایران با اولین فیلمش یعنی جوون اومد و تو فستیوال کرد و خیلی برای جوون های حداقل میتونم بگم ایران یا نمیدونم برای خیلی از جوون ها برای خود من نشون داد که نه یک جوون یک دختر جوون هم میتونه دنیا رو از دید خودش به دنیا نشون بده. Luckily for us I think Lebanon has been considered uh, as an example of freedom for the whole Middle East. I think women here have maybe more freedom than other countries. Lebanese filmmaker Nadine Labaki won praise around the world as writer, director and star of her light-hearted film Caramel about the love lives of four women at a hairdresser's shop in Beirut. She says she's encountered no gender-based barriers to her career. I think it's a completely different vision for women uh, directors than uh, men directors. <laughs> I think it's very, very important that this vision becomes more and more and not developed and, and seen all over the world. I think women bring a different point of view on the world, on certain issues, and, and we need this vision. Because they are women, they understand more you know, about our problems, what we're going through, the, the things we are facing. 
in life, and, and I think this vision is very important. Shana Fest was born in the shadow of the Hollywood Hills and worked as a nanny to some of Tinseltown's movers and shakers before taking her turn behind the camera. But not every first-time director, male or female, can boast an A-list cast of Pierce Brosnan, Susan Sarandon, and this year's Oscar nominee, Carrie Mulligan. I think the smartest thing that I did is I worked for women producers. Um, so all of my producers have been women. So it was never even a factor. I never really thought about gender very much because I was always working. I mean, the most powerful person on set was always a woman. So, you know, you kind of have to leave chauvinism at the door. My next movie that I'm writing is a genre movie about bank robbers, and it's quite violent. And there is no way that script, if it had been written by anybody else, would have come across my desk. There's just no way. So I think you have a certain amount of power if you can actually write your own material. With an apparently blossoming career, Fest says part of her was scared to talk about sexism in the industry in case people marked her as difficult to work with. But it's an issue she cannot ignore. Because there are certain men that you do work with that you know you'll never have, you'll never be able to have their full respect like you should as their leader or as their boss. And you have to, like, you have to figure out how you're going to get it and how you're going to get the best performance out of them. After contributions from women directors around the world, we'll leave the last word to a woman whose cinematic career crosses both continents and cultures. Deepa Mehta. I think it's really important for women who want to be filmmakers who are starting off uh, to stop thinking that they're being hard done by or, some, or even to feel that they're at a disadvantage of their sex because of their sex. Be an equal, feel an equal and you will make equal work. You can see more information and an extended version of this show at our website on cnn.com slash screening room. And next week, don't miss the screening room extra as Colombia celebrates a half century of Latin America's oldest film festival. Until then, it's goodbye from me, Marlene Class, and some of the world's most talented directors who just happen to be women.